Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to paint a misty mountain landscape. Before we can begin painting, we first need to sketch out where we want our mountains to be in this landscape. So you'll see me taking my pencil here and very lightly I'm sketching in the tallest mountain in the back foreground and then there's about four other mountains we are going to be layering on top of each other coming towards us down the page. So I'm just making some kind of wavy lines. These, this is not gonna be the exact shape of my mountains, but it's just giving me a guideline of where I want that color to be. And I can really put in the shape of the mountain with my paint later on. So these pencil marks are really just guidelines to help us know where to leave negative space and where we want our mountains to be. Now that we have our basic mountain sketch in place, we can begin painting. I first began this process by filling up my entire sky area with clean water. I just added an even gloss of water. I didn't want my water pooling in the corners. I want a nice even gloss for the watercolor paint to blend smoothly into each other. Then once I had that water in place, I applied my peach colored paint to the bottom of the sky. I will have all of the specific paint colors that I'm using listed over on my blog, so you can head over there if you'd like to know the specific paint colors that I used. The link will be in the description box below. Next, I cleaned my brush off and applied my blue-purple paint above the peach paint color, and I very carefully blended these two colors together. Once this section dries, we are going to repeat this exact same process by just adding a second layer of the peach paint and the blue purple colored paint and then we can move on to painting in our mountains once everything dried i took the same blue purple paint on my brush and i filled in the first mountain sketch that we drew earlier I carried that same paint color down all the way to the bottom of the page. This is going to create our mountain mist as we continue to paint in our other mountain layers that are going to be in the foreground. You are going to notice that the mountain is going to appear a lot darker than the rest of the bottom of the page because we are layering the mountain paint on top of the sunset where the rest of the paint is just going to be a nice gloss over that clean white page. And we want the bottom of our page to have that glow of that blue purple paint where we want our mountain to be darker. Now once this whole section completely dries we are going to continue to go back and put a second layer of paint over just our mountain. We can blend that paint color down into our blue purple paint but we want just that mountain to really have that second layer um, just to be darker and more prominent in the background. To paint in the Misty Mountains, all we have to do is fill in the shapes that we drew earlier with our blue-purple paint with a lot of Payne's Cray added into that paint mixture. This is just going to create a darker, thicker wash to help our mountains really stick out in our foreground. Once you fill up the shape of the mountains that we drew earlier, you are just going to take a clean brush and fill it up with some water and then you are going to start below, not touching the paint of the mountains that we just drew, and you are going to work your brush up toward the mountain with that clean water and just let that layer bleed into that clean water. So it's just going to create a very soft transition between those darker mountains and that really light wash that we created a step earlier. You are gonna do this individually, working your way down into each mountain layer that we drew in. Every time you paint in a mountain and then blend that color down into that blue purple gloss, you want that to completely dry before you paint the next mountain layer. And you are just going to continue to do this until all of the mountains are completely done and blended in.
With our very last mountain layer, we are gonna do this just a little bit differently. We're gonna add a lot more black to our paint mixture, and then we are just going to fill up this entire mountain shape with that paint. Since it's going right down to the bottom of our painting, we don't even need to worry about blending it into the misty area that we created. While that very last mountain layer dries, we're going to go back to our very first mountain that we worked on and we are just going to add some darker paint and a little bit more detail just to kind of add a little bit more depth and interest to this painting and just kind of finish off the mountain's look. So I just took a nice even wash of that blue purple paint and I just filled in that entire mountain with that color to just kind of reactivate the paint so that I could continue to work with it a little bit more. And then I added a lot of black and a lot of Payne's Gray to that mixture and I just started tapping in that darker pink color to the bottom of this mountain. I did my very best to try to avoid that mountain layer that's right below it. I just left the smallest amount of space in between these two mountains and I just continued to tap in that really dark paint to the bottom of that very first mountain that we have in this painting. And then you're just going to do your best to blend this color up into that lighter top section, but just giving it that rough feel is really going to help this mountain stand out in this painting. And again, just complete the look that we're going for with our mountains. For our last step, we are going to tap in leaves around the top left and right side of the painting. And then we're going to create a slanted row of trees starting at the top bottom left going down to the bottom right. So to do this, we are just going to fill up our small round brush with some green black paint mixture. I mixed in a little bit of blue just to help it go along with the composition that we've already painted. But for the most part, you want this to be as black as possible, but still having those green tint to it. So once you have your paint mixture ready to go, you can just start tapping in those leaves on the top left hand corner and just have them kind of peeking out along the edges. And then as we wrap around to the right side, they're going to start coming out a little bit more and, and coming down the right side just a little bit. And then they're going to stop and we're going to go over to the left side of our painting and we are going to paint in a diagonal line of trees for our very last layer. And adding these leaves and these trees is really going to complete the look of our painting, really soften it, and just bring everything together to create this beautiful, misty mountain landscape. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'd love to have you come back for more painting tutorials. I hope to see you back again soon. Bye. Thank you.